Good afternoon, everyone. A famous New Jersey YouTuber by the name of Ami in a Hellcat faces 514 years in prison after the FBI raided his home. 34-year-old Bill Omar Carasquillo is charged with tax evasion, money laundering, conspiracy to commit copyright infringement, and violating the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, making false statements to a bank, and fraud for his illegal streaming services website. In 2019, they seized mostly all of his assets, such as 35 million in assets like houses, TV, cameras, SD cards, and 57 luxury cars. In addition, they froze his girlfriend's bank account. Michael Barone, 36 years of age, and Jesse Gonzalez, 42 years of age, were partners with Umi. They both pleaded guilty. These men ran this company from 2016 to 2019. Furthermore, the company was called Gears TV, Reloaded in Gears, Reloaded, and Reboot at different times. The customers paid $15 a month for inclusive access to HBO, Comcast, Verizon, FIOS, and DirecTV. Prosecutors say over 30 million subscription fees were collected. Ami claims that he paid subscription fees for all subscribers involved. On Tuesday, Ami live-streamed his arrest. His lawyer, Dante Mills, said there was no law explicitly prohibiting how it operated. Mr. Mills also stated, Mr. Carasquillo tapped into a brand new unregulated industry and was successful. Most people are called pioneers when they do that. Omar is called a criminal. The government assumes my client was not smart enough to do this legally because of his background. He is, and we will, prove that. Ami's words were, so finally you know. I get to not be depressed, not be stressed out anymore. Now, I'll get my day in court. Let's take a look at the video of the latest arrest. This. Do you, um, in the house? What is going on? I said no already, and I, I've asked for an arrest warrant. You guys aren't giving us any reason. Would you mind helping her get... Dress so we can talk to her about. Can you explain what's going on? Yeah. We'll get in the restaurant. I want to know what's going on. I don't want to speak to anybody right now. I want to put on my pants and like. Do you want to get dressed? Let's take a look at what he said when he got out of jail. A little article that just came out. Nuts. So, you know, it, it simply said, "How come every other service that stopped, they were able to leave with their bread?" and only get sued by the right TV. And only in the Hellcat was the only one to go through this federal thing. It's nuts. Now, it kind of seems like they was like throwing me under the bus, but there's nothing to tell on my case. My case is my case. And you know what I'm saying? But it's a bold statement because it kind of seems like I was the only one targeted out of everyone. You know what I'm saying? So it was just a general statement on something that's already out. So people need to stop assuming. Mm -hmm. They're going to be wide open for the world to see. Now, let's take a look at what he said on the news. Subscribers and Instagram followers as Omi and a Hellcat, a diamond-clad exotic car enthusiast whose photos and videos showcasing his extreme wealth have garnered millions of views. But the lifestyle that attracted so many fans has apparently also grabbed the attention of the feds, who last month, according to Carrasquillo, seized millions in bank accounts, 30-plus cars, and electronics from properties he owns, including this mansion in Woolwich Township, New Jersey. Instead of going into hiding following the government raid, Carrasquillo has been open about his predicament, continuing to post YouTube videos. Bro, when I tell you they took everything, they took every SD card, every camera, every television, in my house, houses, they took every car. Carrasquillo and his attorney sat down exclusively with CBS3, addressing the investigation into possible tax evasion, copyright infringement, and money laundering. I was a multimillionaire a week ago, and now I'm down to nothing. Carrasquillo maintains that the fortune he's acquired has been through legal means. He owns a construction company and rental properties. And in mid-2016, he launched an internet-based streaming app called Gears TV Reloaded, where users pay a monthly fee to access premium cable, sports, and pay-per-view content. That idea made him a multimillionaire. He's being penalized for being creative and being innovative. There is no law that says he could not do what he was doing. 
Carrasquillo is not currently facing any charges, but in August, the Department of Justice shut down two similar streaming apps, announcing charges against eight people for violations of federal copyright law. Two of those defendants pleaded guilty earlier this month, but Carrasquillo says his operation is different. No copyright holders ever got in contact with me and say, hey, you can't do this because there's there certain ways that I set the business up that's going to prove a, a million percent that it wasn't illegal. I just saw a loophole. I see counsel on it. They told me it wasn't illegal and I went for it and now I'm being punished for it. His attorney, Dante Mills, suspects his client is being targeted for being somewhat of an unlikely success story, given his background and where he grew up. They're confused as to how is this guy from North Philadelphia able to create so much wealth? He must be doing something wrong. That's unfair. He shouldn't be treated that way. Carrasquillo admits he does owe back taxes, which he attributes to a lack of financial literacy. He says he was making attempts to pay them before the government seized his assets. In the middle of us trying to work out a deal to pay them back, they came and seized everything. I mean, everything, even the tablets off my kids' hands. With liens placed on his properties and his accounts frozen, he says he's unable to operate his businesses or pay his 30 employees. There's car notes. There's there's a, a ton of families right now going through, like they can't even seek legal advice because they're, they're in this situation with me. So um, this is a bad situation for everyone in the table. So I, you know, I just hope that the, the U.S. attorney can see this and, and come to a resolution. Right now, Ami says he is living off of his YouTube money, where he has nearly 800,000 subscribers. In these times, it's kind of hard for a black person to be successful. People have to stop showing off their assets to the world because there is always someone seeking to destroy you. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.